All right, I just recently got asked how you could add a external JavaScript to um, Edge Animate and how it can manipulate other properties. I have this set up a basic, uh, you know, a basic file, nothing special, just put a rectangle in there and made it an awful color because I felt it would get your attention. The one thing I did do is add over here at the scripts, I added my connection to jQuery. Now, how did I do that? I go over to jQuery.com and I press the download big, and then I'm going to go drop down to the CDN. I personally like using the CDNs. They're easy. Then I click down here where it says see all versions. And I want to use um, the jQuery Quarry Core Minified. Click. And all I got to do is copy this link right here. And then once I do that, I can paste it in, click the plus sign, and I can URL, and I can paste it in. So that's all. That's my setup. I'm ready to rock. Next thing I need to do is I have to create my jQuery, my jQuery file or JavaScript file, and um, I'm going to do that using Text Wrangler. But see, the thing is, you don't. You can use any text, plain text. It doesn't matter but it's set up all the same way. So here's how we do it. In order to get this to work, you have to do set up the structure. And the structure is dollar sign, which stands for jQuery, open parentheses document, make sure you spell it right because I've spelled it wrong at times, dot ready, and then open parentheses function. Okay. F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly brace, skip a few lines, close the curly brace, close the parentheses, and a semicolon. Now, if you want to know where that second parentheses came, it matches this one. So whatever you open, you close. Well, before I save it, I'm going to go back here and save this because it's easier. So I'll go file, save. Um, I'm going to save this as... Um, my JS X. The only reason I'm saving it by that name, it's just easier. I'm going to um, save it in its own folder, say and save. And of course that writes all the other files that I need. Now, I'm, now I can come back here and save this. So I will save and I'll name this uh, my EXT my external, see, dot js. I've got to make sure it gets in the right folder. So I um, go back, see, there's my, there we go, and save. All right, that's it. So I've saved. Now, I haven't connected it to my page, so nothing would happen. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'll go window, code, Stage, hit the plus sign, and do composition ready. Sound familiar? Oh, yes. So what do I want to put in here? Well, I want to append it to the head. So I'm going to put dollar sign, open parentheses, open double quotes, close double quotes, close parentheses, dot, append, open parentheses, open single quote, close single quote, close parentheses, semicolon. That's the syntax. Of course, there's a lot more to that as far as adding it, but, you know, that's okay. That's not a big deal. So let's add it. We're going to add this to the head because that's where you want it to appear. And then we're going to add this link to the head. Now, this will add at the end of the head just before it closes, but it'll still be there. So we're going to open angle bracket, script, and then I'm going to do SRC, because you need to know where it is, equals, open double quotes, and what did I call it? What did I name that thing? Oh, yeah, my ext j quiz. But if I'm not sure, I can always come back here. It's my ext. My ext js, close double quotes, 
close the angle bracket, open an angle bracket, slash, script, script, close angle bracket, save. Now how do I know it's there? Well, I can go command, uh, return, and I happen to have mine set up. If you're using, I'm using Safari and I opened up with a development tag, but I'm just going to go to the web inspector. You can do this in Chrome too. If I flip down head, there's my script right there. And if I click it, there you go. You can see it. So it's connected. Now I'm open up to possibilities. So what could I put in there? So let's go back to Text Wrangler. I can put, I can do a simple color change. Let's do a simple color change for the rectangle. Syntax is, is dollar sign, open parentheses, open and close double quotes, close parentheses, dot, CSS. And I'm only going to change one of the um, things here, one of the factors. Open parentheses, open double quotes, close double quotes, comma. You'll note that's different than your standard CSS writing. Open double quotes, close double quotes, close parentheses, semicolon. Now, what I'm going to do is just change the background color. So, B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D hyphen color. And let's change it to green. Now, we could use a hex number here, an RGB. We can use anything. I'm just going to use the word green because that's it. Now, what do we put here? If I type in just rectangle, it won't work. All of the elements in Edge can be called by either their ID name or their class name. Their ID name would be pound stage with a capital S, underscore, and then rectangle. That would be the ID name. If I were doing the class name, it would be dot stage underscore rectangle and then underscore id but i'm not doing that i'm just going with that so just thought i'd show you what it was so i'm going to save this and i should come back here i'll go back to my and if i reload it it's green simple as that the thing is in here you can do multiple CSS changes. You can do a simple click if you want. You could put your any kind of jQuery function in here. That's it. Now, I only showed you how to do one thing, but if you think about it, it's just jQuery, and you can do almost anything you want so long as you follow the setup. That's it. I'm done. Now you know how.